Hey everyone, welcome to Photoshop Pro Help. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this fantastic weave effect. Now this effect may look hard but it is really easy and simple and it only takes a few steps. Now first things first is you want to go and load your image into Photoshop, the one we are going to be applying this effect to. So if I jump over to this one, this is the photo I'm going to be working with. And what we're next going to do is going to make a new blank document. This is going to be our weave effect pattern. So we're going to go up to file and new. Now the size really depends on how big your picture actually is. So this may take a few tries. It's a bit of a trial and error situation. So these are the settings to suit this picture alone. So it's going to be 250 pixels by 125 pixels. So you want to try this and if it doesn't work for you, just go back and redo this again. So click OK. And what you're going to get is a really small tri um, sorry, not triangle, a rectangle here. So we just zoom in. And all we're going to do is going to put a few uh, layer styles to this. So I'm just going to double click the layer on the right hand side take the padlock off click OK from here double click um, that layer to bring up the layer styles and all I'm going to do is just um, bring you through a few settings that we're going to do so we're going to go to inner shadow and we want to make sure that you've got blend uh, mode overlay and then you want to put the opacity to 40 make sure the color is white the distance is going to be set to 2 the choke is going to be set to 0 and the size is going to be set to 0 the angle is going to be 120 and use global light clicked on now the quality the contour is going to be set to the first one and you want to make sure the noise is set to 0 and the anti analyzed sorry anti analyzed is going to be unticked next thing is go over to the gradient overlay blend mode is going to be set to normal opacity is going to be set to 100% gradient we're just going to go and double click the gradient now on the left hand side box right here we're going to go for a very um, very um, bright grey so very light one so the code for the light grey is going to be set to B3B3B9 you might want to pause the video and check the code out for yourself but we just want any light grey for this click OK now the next one is going to be a really dark grey for the right hand side. So the code for this is going to be 333232. You might want to pause the video again, check out the code and come back. So any dark grey will do for this. And then click OK and then click OK again. Make sure that you've got the style as reflected. Click the align with layer clicked on. Angle is going to be set to 0 and the scale is going to be set to 120. Once you've done that, click OK. And we're just going to go up to File, sorry, Edit. Go to Define Pattern. And you really can uh, name this pattern anything. I'm just going to call it Weave. So type in Weave. And click OK. I already created mine, so I don't need to click OK. We're going to go and jump back over to our picture, the main picture we're going to be working with and all we're going to do from here is make a new blank layer bottom right hand side click the new blank layer icon and we're going to go up to um, edit go to fill and all we're going to do is go up to use pattern clicked on go to the drop down menu to custom pattern scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find your weave and next bit we're going to go to blending mode normal opacity 100% Preserve transparency clicked off and scripted pattern clicked on and make sure that the script is going to be cross weave. Now you'll only find this in CS6 so I'm afraid in CS5 it's going to be a tad different. This is what makes um, CS6 unique so it's another thing for CS6. So make sure that you have cross weave clicked on and then click OK. Now as you see this is what we're going to be getting. Now. As I said, um, the past, this is what the weave is going to look like, how thick it is. So if it is too thick for your picture, just go back again and change the size of that weave pattern. So we're just going to go and change the blending option for this to, uh, we're just going to go change that to multiply. Now it's really dark at the moment, but don't worry about it too much. So we're just going to double click this layer, layer 1. 
and we're going to go over to stroke and we're going to bring the size all the way up to 250 change the color to white click OK and then click OK again now all next thing we're going to do is brighten this picture up so we're going to go over down to the bottom you see a little circle with uh, the black and white click that and all we're going to do is make an adjustment layer click the levels and you see a little button right here it has a little arrow pointing down at the bottom it's basically we're going to uh, lock in to only layer one underneath so click that You see the little button just there and all we're going to do is we're going to bring up the white level to the left hand side and as you can see it brightens the picture up now you really want to do this to suit your picture all pictures are going to be totally different so just really play around it depends on how you like it so you can just have it as bright as you want and we're just going to go and close that and that's pretty much it done now the next thing we can do to um, make this effect a lot better is we can take out some of this white and make a drop shadow but to do so what we're going to do is we're going to go over and select layer 1 and we're going to go up to um, this tool at the top left hand side, the magic wand tool. And all we're going to do is hold down shift on our keyboard. And we're just going to go and click all the white here. So to hold down shift and click every white box you can. So I'm just going to quickly do this. I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm going to do half of this just to show you what it will actually look like. So half each on each side so a few more there we go and all we're going to do from here is we're going to go and double click and we're going to take off that stroke so you're going to double click layer one take off the stroke click OK and we're going to go to hold down onto the background layer so double click to take off the padlock and click OK and all we're going to do, because we have those boxes selected, we're going to go and click delete. And we're going to go and make a new blank layer. And we're just going to drag that down to the bottom, just underneath the background layer. And we're going to go and fill this with white. So go to your paint bucket tool on the left hand side. And make sure you've got white as your foreground colour and click white. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. And then all we're going to do from here is we're going to go and double click layer 1 where we took the stroke off. So double click. And we're going to go and make a drop shadow. So click drop shadow. And all you want to do is change the blend mode to multiply. And you can really play around with the angle. So I'm just going to bring the angle down a bit like that. So the angle is going to be around about 42. Um, and use global light clicked on. The opacity is going to be 75 make sure the contour is going to be set to the first one and the size really depends on you so I'm going to go for around about 6 for this and then all we do is click OK and that's the sort of thing that you're after now as you can see this is without the drop shadow and stuff like that we, we, we've redesigned it and this is the bit with the drop shadow at the bottom now, as you can see it's a lot better but we can also do something else to this we can also use the burn tool on the left hand side click the burn tool and all we're going to do is bring it up to exposure 100 percent make it sure it's rid sorry mid tones at the top of the range and we're just going to go and burn just some of the edges of the weave just so they stand out a lot better so you can see them and that's pretty much it once you have done that, this is the sort of style that you'll be getting. These are all with all the white boxes deleted and reformed. So once you have done that, that's the effect done. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Go check out the website. Carry on. Let me know how uh, the effect turned out for you and if you need any more help. And I will easily um, reply to you and help you. So as I said, comment, rate and subscribe. Check out the website and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.